Shalom, Shalom, Shabbat Shalom, brothers and sisters, talking to Hebrew Readers Church. Related to spend this time with you all and grow in the opportunity and hope of Yahshua Mashiach. And we hope you all are being encouraged and taking the opportunity to really take these lessons in, study the scriptures, focus on those fruits of the Spirit, and keeping the commandments and cleave so that we may be delivered from all destructions and temptations to come. Yes. Today we're going to be looking at is there a necessity to leave America according to the scriptures? We're going to start in Revelation chapter 18, verse 1 to 4. Revelation 18, verse 1. And after these things I saw another angel come down from heaven, having great power, and the earth was lightened with his glory. And he cried mightily with a strong voice, saying, Babylon the great is fallen, is fallen, and has become the habitation of devils, and the hold of every foul spirit, and a cage of every unclean and hateful bird. For all nations have drunk of the wine of the wrath of her fornication, and the kings of the earth have committed fornication with her. Mm-hmm. And the merchants of the earth are waxed rich through the abundance of her delicacies. Yes. And I heard another voice from heaven saying, Come out of her, my people, that ye be not partakers of her sins, and that ye receive not of her plagues. He's very clearly stated that we need to come out of her, that we do not partake in her plagues. When he says, My people, my people is speaking to the Israelites of Allah in spirit and truth, and the Gentiles that are called by his name as well. He is the Allah of the Gentiles also. As Romans chapter 3 verse 29 substantiates. Romans chapter 3 verse 29. Is he the Elohim of the Jews only? Is he not also of the Gentiles? Yes, of the Gentiles also. And Job is a testimony to that. Because Job was a Gentile. And he was counted a servant of Elohim. So we are commanded to leave America. All his people leave America. We look at Isaiah chapter 48, verse 17 to 22. Isaiah chapter 48, verse 17. Thus saith Ahaya, the Redeemer, the Holy One of Israel, I am Ahaya Alahayim, who teacheth thee to profit, which leadeth thee by the way that thou shouldest go. All that thou hadst hearkened to my commandments, then had thy peace been as a river, and thy righteousness as the waves of the sea. Thy seed also had been as the sand, and the offspring of thy bowels, like the gravel, gravel thereof. His name should not have been cut off, nor destroyed from before me. Go ye forth from Babylon, flee ye from the Chaldeans with the voice of singing. Declare ye, tell this, utter it, even to the ends of the earth. Say ye, Ahiah hath redeemed his servant, Jacob, and they thirsted not when he led them through the desert. He caused the waters to flow out of the rock for them. He claimed the rock also, and the waters gushed out. So then he's giving you admonition. Remember what happened to our fathers. He took care of us. So that we'll be encouraged and he's going to take care of us again. Right. This is why belief is such an important thing in these times. We must believe. Because faith is what's going to save us. Faith and showing our faith by our works. That's right. Will cause us to be accepted in the beloved. There is no peace, saith Ahia, unto the wicked. So there you see, brothers and sisters, if we continue in wickedness, we will not have peace. We will not partake in this hope. This happened in times past with our people in 70 AD. And if you're familiar with the book of Josephus, if you go look at Wars of the Jews, book 5, chapter 10 through about 13, this same thing that's going on in America happened in times past. The Roman army, Vespasian and Titus, had the whole army camp around the, the wall, and they wouldn't let us have any victuals come in to go out. And they literally sat there and let us starve. Then we start robbing and pillaging each other. And there's nothing new under the sun. So they're doing the same thing over again. So I really recommend for you all to read that so that you all can see that 
they're the same Romans are operating. They're doing the same thing again. Yes, they're doing it. Now we're we'll looking at Amos chapter 9, verse 8 to 10 to see the scriptures show that those who are in unbelief, the wicked of the Israelites will perish when this visitation comes. All right. And all of those, the people that were in Jerusalem at that time were the people that didn't leave. They literally said, Allah is going to deliver us here. And when it happened, it was really, really, really bad. According to Luke, when you shall see Jerusalem compared for armies flee into the mountains. Yes. And they didn't believe. The rest of the people who stayed in the sea didn't believe the report. They didn't believe the prophecy. So, here we are again. Yes. Let's see what's coming here. This is Amos chapter 9, verse 8. Behold, the eyes of, of Adonaiah are upon the sinful kingdom. And I will destroy it from the, off the face of the earth. Saving that, I will not utterly destroy the house of Jacob, said Fahaya. This is the remnant that's going to be saved, all right? For lo, I will command, and I will shift the house of Israel among all nations, like as corn is shifted in the sieve. Yet shall not the least grain fall upon the earth. And there we see he's pulling his people out. Right. Therefore, we are sure in the testimony that those who are Ahayah's people, Jews and Gentiles, will hear his voice and will prepare themselves to get out of Babylon. Right. Right. All the sinners of my people shall die by the sword, which say, the evil shall not overtake nor prevent us. And they said it at uh, Roman conquering Judea in 70 AD. Right. And sadly it's happening again right. in America. There are those that don't believe they have to be, have to leave. So, Physically. Right. right. Those that he suffers to leave, this is to you all that he suffers to get out of there. Put away your sins. Leave Babylon from your hearts. Right. And physically. Let's look at Isaiah chapter 52 verse 11. Depart ye, depart ye, go ye out from thence. Touch no unclean thing. Step away from all that iniquity. The physical things that are unclean and the things from within that are unclean have nothing to do with it. Continue. Go ye out of the midst of her. Be ye clean that bear the vessel of Ahia. And we know he's talking about cleaning our insides as well because when he says be ye clean, you remember Yajay said, watch the inside of the cup. That's right. And the outside may be clean also. All right. Clean out from the inside. And you clean out from the inside by the fruits of the Spirit. All right. Cleanse you and make you perfect and whole and make you Yaka Yajay. Let's finish Isaiah 52 and 12, please. Isaiah chapter 52, verse 12. For ye shall not go out with haste, nor go by flight. For Ahaya will go before you, and the Allah Ishra'ala will be your re reward. And brothers and sisters of all nations, don't have to be afraid. You just have to grow in faith. Pray sincerely. Pray fervently for Ahaya to give you guidance by Yache. Don't pray unto any other. And know that he'll go before you the same way he led Israel by the cloud by day and the cluster of stars and fire by night. He will guide you. He took John. When Joshua got to the land of Canaan, Yahshua came down That's and right. took them into the land. Grow in faith, but know that he will guide you. Don't have to be afraid. All right? That's right. Um, he admonishes us as well in 2 Ezra chapter 16, verse 67, and then we're going to jump to verse 74 to 78. Second Andrew chapter 16 verse 67. Mm -hmm. Behold, Allah himself is the judge. Fear him. Leave off from your sins and forget your iniquities to meddle no more with them forever. Jump to verse 74 to 78, please. Uh, second Andrew 16 to 74. Hear, O ye my beloved, say if I Behold, the days of trouble are at hand, but I will deliver you from the same. This it's his word, right? We can believe that he will deliver us. And what does it take? Be ye not afraid, neither doubt. For Allah is your guide. First thing you need faith. That's right. Gotta have faith. All right, continue. And the God of them who keep my commandments and precepts, say Fahaya Allah And you see, he's going to get you. You have to believe first. The way you keep that belief and show that belief is by keeping his commandments and precepts. That's right. 
His word will not fall to the ground. Trust in these things, brothers and sisters, and move forward. Of all nations, move forward unto righteousness. Continue. Let not your sins weigh you down. Don't think that you can't be forgiven for anything. All right. May I have mercy. Move forward. Put off those old things. Don't let your sins hold you back. All right. Continue. Let not your iniquities lift up themselves. The iniquities are entities. So they're going to lift themselves up in you and take dominion of you. Right. And can't get you cast away. All right. Woe be unto them that are bound with their sins and covered with their iniquities. Like as a field is covered with bushes. This is talking to those who feel that I, this is, I am what I am. Right. I can't change. Right. Or it's too hard to change. I've been doing this for so long. Right. Because you're bound. That's showing that, that that iniquity has dominion over you. Right. Because you can't, you, you, he's, that evil spirit has caused you to feel that you cannot come out of it. Right. And you're in agreement with it because you're saying it and professing it. So understand, brothers and sisters, you have to believe. You have to speak against these spirits. Know that you can change and believe from your heart. Ahaya is going to reward those that seek him with a humble heart and a contrite spirit to free us. Because Yache came to set the captives free. So be encouraged to let those things go. But if you don't... And the path thereof covered with thorns that no man may travel through, it is left undressed and is cast into the fire to be consumed therewith. We're not going to perish in our iniquities if we don't change, brothers and sisters. Let's look at Jeremiah chapter 50. Now, that was an exhortation essentially to the brothers and sisters of all nations to believe and know you have to come out of there and prepare your hearts to come out of there. If I hear puts in your heart to contact us, please contact us. But we all need help. We're the body of Messiah. We all to work together. All right. All right. Now we're looking at the scriptures telling us that we have to go. Uh, Jeremiah chapter 50 verse 8 and 28. Jeremiah chapter 50 verse 8. Remove out of the midst of Babylon and go forth out of the land of the Chaldees. And be as the he goats before the flocks. So that means you literally have to go because the goats go walking ahead of everyone else right. before the rest of the herd comes. And remove, as literal as it is, get out of there. All right? All right? Verse uh, 28. Uh, Jeremiah chapter 50, verse 28. And the voice of them that flee and escape out of the land of Babylon to the Korean Sion of the vengeance of Ahayam. So the voice of them that flee and escape out of Babylon. That means you got out of there. It's a, You have to physically leave. All right? To declare that it's the vengeance of Ahia when he destroys that place. Right. If you stay there, there your soul won't be able to be delivered because we were commanded to leave. So you can understand that we were given a commandment. So if you stay there, you're actually going against the commandment. You're right. not hearkening to the voice of Ahia, and you're going to perish in that because you didn't believe his word just like the Israelites that didn't believe his word in the wilderness perished uh, Jeremiah chapter 51 verse 6 to 11 Jeremiah chapter 51 verse 6 flee out of the midst of Babylon and deliver every man his soul see deliver your soul you have to leave your life is on the line because it's not just that they're going to physically kill you they're, it's also going to cause your soul to perish because you also broke the commandment and didn't do what he said to do. Right. And remember, Yahweh said, don't fear him that can kill your flesh. Fear him that can kill your soul in hell. That's right. So that's why what I have said to do, be faithful and believe it. He would not tell you to leave if he wasn't going to deliver you. Because he is a lion and he cares about us. Very yeah. full of compassion and mercy and gracious and long suffering, abundant in goodness and truth. He would not tell us to do something that wasn't for our good. He will guide us. He gave us plenty of admonition that He will guide us. All right, continue. Be not cut off in her iniquity. Then again, save your soul and don't be cut off in her iniquity. Don't die with her. Continue. For this is the time of a high vengeance. He will render unto her a recompense. All right. Babylon has been a golden cup in the highest hand and made all the earth drunken. The nations have drunken of her wine. 
Therefore, the nations are mad. Babylon is suddenly fallen and destroyed. How for her? Take Balaam for her pain. If so, be she may be healed. And he tells that he would have healed her, but she didn't change. Right. We will have healed Babylon, but she is not healed. Forsake her and let it go every one into his own country. And there you see Gentiles, you gotta leave too. Right. She ain't healed. Forsake her, right. leave her. Forsake her within and without, every man to his own country. All right. For her judgment reaches unto heaven and is lifted up even to the skies. Right. Mm -hmm. uh, you have brought forth our righteousness. Come and let us declare and say unto the word. Our righteousness came. We have the opportunity now to live. All right, continue. Make bright the arrows, gather the shields. Ahaya has raised up the spirit of kings of the Medes for his device against Babylon to destroy it. And this is the Iranians. Right. And they're coming, their military is on the way, their naval fleet is on the way this year. Right. So as Ahaya said, it's coming to pass. Continue. Right. For his device is against Babylon to destroy it because it is the vengeance of Ahaya, the vengeance of his temple. And his temple is Israel and Judah, the children of Israel. When you look at uh, Jeremiah chapter 51, verse uh, 24. And I will render unto Babylon and to all the inhabitants of Chaldea, all the evil that they have done in Sayano, in your sight, saith Ahia. So all that they did unto the children of Israel, they're going to get rendered a reward for it. And jump to verse 35. Jeremiah 51, verse 35. And the violence done to me and to my flesh be upon Babylon. Shall the inhabitants of Sayano say, and my blood upon the inhabitants of Chaldea shall Yorochalam say. And further admonition to leave in ver uh, Jeremiah 51, verse uh, 45 to 50. Okay. Jeremiah 51, verse 45. Mm -hmm. My people, go ye out of the midst of her, and deliver ye every man his soul from the fifth anger of Ahia. That's the second time he said, deliver your soul. Right. When you know you have to actually leave the place. All right, continue. And lest your heart faint, and ye fear for the rumor that shall be heard in the land. Get out of there, because what is coming is going to be very scary. Right. It's very scary. You don't want to be there for what's coming, brothers and sisters. That's right. All right, continue. A rumor shall both come one year, and after that another year. And after that in another year shall come a rumor, and violence in the land, ruler against ruler. Therefore, behold, the days come that I will do judgment upon the graven images of Babylon, and her whole land shall be confounded, and all her slain shall fall in the midst of her. Many people are going to die. Right. 49 and 50 now, please. Jeremiah 51 verse 49. As Babylon hath caused the slain of Israel to fall, so in Babylon shall fall the slain of all the earth. So all those years, all those, we've seen all those pictures and newspaper articles and when they were celebrating, hanging the Israelites, right. when Christopher Columbus and the people that came with him, when they were destroying the northern kingdom, feeding them to dogs and doing all those different things, the gator babies where they fed our children to alligators, all the things that they've done, all the things that they've done to the other nations too, right. you know? What they, you know, the nuclear bomb that they did to the Israelites in the uh, in Japan and the the Japanese that were there too, it's they're going to receive their recompense. Right. She's going to get what's coming to her. All right. Ye that have escaped sword, go away. Stand not still. Remember how you are far off, and let your child come into your mind. Those that have gotten out of there, that have escaped that sword, you get out of there before what's coming comes. Remember Ahaya. Don't lose faith. He's encouraged us time and time again. Don't lose faith. That's right. Stay faithful. Believe and know that he's going to deliver and it's going to come to pass. Um, you will be protected if you stay in true faith. And the true faith being keeping the commandments and bearing the fruits of the Spirit. And believing in the name of Yahche and Ahaya Ashre Ahaya and the Ruaka Kwadoshi. 
And we keep making mention of these names because remember the Hebrew language is more powerful than any language and words translated into another tongue don't have the same power or meaning. The true ancient Hebrew is the Igbo language. And so we're telling you this so you can have the actual name according to its true power which has force in the spiritual realm. Ahaya, Ashere, Ahaya. And Yache, Meshiaka, and Ruaka, Kwadoshi. Go to Zechariah 2, verse 48. We'll close there. Zechariah chapter 2, verse 4. And said unto him, Run, speak to this young man, saying, Your eternal shall be inhabited as town for thy walls for the multitude of men and cattle therein. That's an angel giving that message to Zechariah. So that's the truth. It's going to come to pass. Right. We have that to believe in and know. All right? For I say, if I have will be unto her a wall of fire round about and will be the glory in the midst of her. It's never seen. We're going to be protected. All right. It's going to be about us as a wall of fire. We don't have to fear. We just have to believe. Continue. Ho, ho, come forth and flee from the land of the north, saith Ahia. Believe. For I have spread you abroad at the four winds of the heavens, saith Ahia. He sent us out for our iniquities. Knowing that that happened, the very fact that we're in other lands, just as he prophesied, right. that gives us faith even to know that what he said will happen. He said he's going to bring us back. He's going to bring us back. <laughs> right? Right. Deliver thyself, Oceano. See, it shows you have to actually do something, brothers and sisters. Right. You can't sit idle. He said, deliver thyself, O Zion. That's right. That dwelleth with the daughter of Babylon. You that live in America, you have to leave. All right. Continue. For thus saith Ahayat and Sobota, After the glory hath he sent me unto the nations, which spoiled you. For he that touches you touches the apple of his eye. Those that are Ahayas. It's very precious to him. All right. He said in the book of Ezra, he's going to rejoice over his cluster. So know that. Ahaya cares. He wants the best for his people. He wants the best for all his children. We just have to believe and know that he will take care of us and we have to come out of our. So we encourage you to make preparations to leave. Yes. You have our email. You have our contact information. You can access us on Facebook as well. Our Hebrew readers. We're here, brothers and sisters. And Ahaya be with those that hear this and he stir up your spirit, stir it up in your heart to know that you have to get out of there. Um, Ahaya be magnified in things. Just continue a prayer. Continue a prayer for all the people that are there that they they really gird up their loins and truly put on faith as a garment and truly come out of it and walk by faith and not by sight. Constantly in prayer. So, I hope be magnified. Amen. Shabbat Shalom, brothers and sisters.